So here is my reclaim bucket uh, where we put all the throwing slops and all the sloppy water. And you can see that it's evaporated to the point where it's quite thick. It's like wet mashed potatoes. So I've taken uh, a cup of this and I've put it in another container. So let's go over and have a look. Okay, so there it is in my cup. It's exactly the same stuff that you just saw. And here I have a container of Darvan 7, which I purchased at Paoli Clay. Darvan is a deflocculant. And you're about to see the magic of deflocculation. So I've drawn up um, about six milliliters of Darvan in this old syringe. And I'm just going to add it to this until I get a nice wet slip. So I'm going to add, you know, about two, two grams, two milliliters in there. Milliliters and grams are the same thing. Um, and then I'll go... Okay, so you can see now that instead of a wet mashed potato texture, I now have a nice liquid slip. So you can see how that's nice and creamy. So why would I deflocculate a slip? Well, first of all, to get what I had before to this consistency, I would probably have to add an equal amount of water and mix it up. And that would mean that there would be less clay in solution. And whenever you have a little bit of clay and a lot of water, when it dries, it's going to shrink and crack. So this gives me a denser material that uh, when I apply it to my pot, I'm not going to end up with as much cracking. Um, also, if I'm using this for slip trailing, my, my lines, my slip trailing texture and lines will shrink a lot less. Uh, they'll keep their shape a little bit better. So this is um, this is the magic of deflocculation. Um, so my next step is I'm going to uh, sieve this through uh, an 80 mesh um, 80 mesh sieve into a bucket, and then I'm going to test a specific gravity, and then I'm going to add some colorants, and I'm going to have some colored decorating slip. So if I can turn this around here so you can, all right, not going to work. Um, so there we go. There we have it. Thank you.